Rivers, I'm here with Golden Rule Show. This, on, on this show, we're going to teach you some amazing principles that, that work in the world. If we can teach the world one thing, if everyone will learn how to treat others the way that they want to be treated, we would solve every issue in this world. So this is the Golden Rule Show, and I'm very honored today to have a special guest, Dr. Kathy Smith. Now, welcome to the show. Dr. Thank Smith. you, Ambassador Rivers. Thank you so much. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is a phenomenal lady that I've known for years. And what, what she does, she has one of the most genuine spirits that you'll ever find in, 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 in the world. She helps every single person that comes across her path leaves feeling better. Well, Dr. Dr. Smith, I have, a, I have a question for you. Give me a little background history on 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 what has made you so passionate for, for Jesus Christ? I was um, raised by a mom. She had eight children. I have four brothers and four sisters. Uh -huh. And um, we we're a tight family. And um, when I was two to four years old, I had rheumatic fever. Hmm. And it's an intense fever. And what they didn't know is it will also cause, because of the elevated temperatures, it will cause brain misfunctions and Yes, algorithms that are not sound. So you mean to tell me you had brain malfunction? I had brain malfunctions when I was little. I was on potassium penicillin G. And then at 15 years old, I was in a car accident um, and it smashed the floor of my eye and my nose. What they didn't know in those days was that the smashing of my brain against my head from the impact caused what they call a traumatic brain injury, a DAI, a diffused axonal injury, which takes the axons from the back of the head, which create a cover for the thoughts. Mm. And because those can bend, but they can't snap, because minds were snapped, the impact of the radio that crushed my face caused the ability to draw out thoughts in a singular fashion, fashion to be not even there. It disappeared. So, so what did you have to overcome? Did, did you have to build things back in your, in your memory? I, from that point on, there really wasn't a memory. I was baptized in water six times. I didn't remember I was baptized. In water. I didn't remember things that I would say. And so what I would have to do is I would watch movies so I could study people because I kept getting in trouble. I would watch movies just to relate, oh, okay. So this is an emotional response to this situation. I would study the behavior of the human race because I had no ability to remember. I was put in a mental hospital wow. at 15 because I'd run away from home. In the mental hospital, they would put restraints on my hand and, and tie me down and give me drugs. And I only understood that there was something wrong, but the one place that remained the same. When I was two, my mother took me to church. Hmm. She took me to church, and at that moment, I saw this person that was on a cross, but I remember he always came to me. And then I thought it was in my dreams. I had no idea about visions. I had no idea about counters. But I knew that man. And that is the man that I ran to every single time. Wow. So, so, so tell me about the encounter that brought you to the Lord Jesus. What, how, how did you get born again? <laughs> I was 15. It was just after the accident. And they said, you can have this in your heart. Mm -hmm. You can have what in your heart? Well, I had already been walking in the water and running with him. I did not know that inside of my being, my heart that was busted could have a light that would shine in it mm. so deep. I did not have to address the darkness that was in my heart. I did not have to address the mental illness. Wow. So, so because as I, as I know you now, you just function like a champion every, everywhere you go in the world. And one thing that I want everyone in the world to, to know about Dr. Dr. Kathy Smith, she is one of the most kind people. She works with whoever comes her way, the hurting, 
of the hurting. I've experienced it firsthand. I've watched her life. She's on our show right now because she's someone that lives the golden rule. She treats others the way she wants to be treated. Uh, uh, Dr. Smith, what put that passion in you to help the world? Because there's a passion in you to help people that I've seen in very few people of the world. What makes you tick? The interesting part about that, Ambassador Rivers, is that I was a kind person and I had this love, but because I was broken off from my core, I could not feel love. Mm. I could not feel love whatsoever. And so I had visions with God. I would go um, inside the word, hold the word, the Lord is my shepherd. Okay, so here's a shepherd and he's show, holding me as a lamb. And that was more real to me than my real world because ah. I, yes, I didn't understand the real world. So in the excellence of that, but one day, now this was my friend, Jesus, but one day he came to me, he said, I love you. I was in stark raving terror. I said, you never said anything about love. Love rapes, love beats, and love leaves. Truly, you must know at this time I am unlovable. Truly, you must know. So, so, so Dr. Smith, you mean to tell me that uh, a loving God came and encountered you when you were unlovely? I had a brain injury, Pastor Clyde. I didn't have any sense not to know you're not supposed to have visions. You're not supposed to encounter angels. I had no place else to go. I was thrown in mental hospitals because I was wild. I did things that were out of control. My parents were the best parents ever. But when you're not functioning, and they had no idea I wasn't functioning, they would ask me a simple question, how are you? And because the damage from the brain injury, the simple answer of, oh, I'm fine. No, inside of my brain it went, I'm fine, I don't know. What if I answer you the wrong way? Will you beat me? Will you love me? Will you this? My brain fired at 10 different answers at one time with a simple question. There was no way to retrieve one response. They'd ask me a question, I'd go. Wow. Draw a blank. Ladies and gentlemen, this story that you're hearing right now is a miracle because this woman functions now in, in, in dreams, visions, signs and wonders. So I don't care out there if you think you're messed up, if you think that God cannot t take you and, and, and do amazing things in your life, this woman, Dr. Kathy Smith, is an amazing testimony of what God can, can do. Dr. Smith, would you please give me another story of something that, that God did to... Uh... Yes, what was interesting, um, Ambassador Rivers, and I want to thank you for the 12 to 13 years that you have walked with me, that you have borne some of these stories. Mm -hmm. And I want to thank you that you live the golden rule. Thank you. you treat others the way you want to be treated. Mm -hmm. I was not all there, and you watched that process, mm -hmm. and yet you held with me. Mm -hmm. you, we fought. Mm -hmm. We did. We're buddies. But in that trust, you always came back and said, but I believe in you, Cal. Mm -hmm. I believe in you. You exemplify the golden rule mm -hmm. because you showed me, you showed my family mm -hmm. what it's like to be treated how you'd want to be treated, not what my behavior at that time. Mm -hmm. Since then, I have been scholarship, and that was to you too, thank you, yes. for, and I now hold a doctorate, I hold a master's and a bachelor's in biblical counseling. So from brain injury, not even knowing wow. one's own heart, I had to literally depend on the angelic realm of which I was familiar. There was an angel named Professor. There was an angel named Focus. So that literally, as these thoughts would come, I still have no brain function normally. But the revelation of God, the revelation needs no intelligence for the mind of Christ is above, in love, the law of the spirit of death. What is the law of the spirit of death? There was a law of love that set you above all principalities and powers. And I said, God, he said, for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus yes, yes. has set you free from the law of sin and death. So I asked him, what was I set free from? He said, if you look at Romans 8, the first verse, it says, 
There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. So the law of sin and death condemns. It says I should have, I would have, and I could have. And anything that will condemn is an antichrist spirit activating within the core of one's being. Mm. Christ is not his last name. Christ means an anointing, the anointing, the smearing on. So when you have something even inside yourself that comes against the anointing, then you have an anti-anointing, anti-Christ. We're not dealing with the anti-Christ out here. We're dealing with the government inside that says, I should have, I would have, could have. Mm -hmm. I should have, I would have, could have, many things. But because I had no brain that was limited, I was forced into an absolute splendor of times, as he had said, Pastor, as he had said, Ambassador, he said, I love you. That very core is what changed my life because I didn't want to be loved. If somebody loved me, they would beat me or rape me mm -hmm. or other things. Mm -hmm. So as that love came in, I said, I cannot. And again, because I... Because my world was so mental, yeah. God had to give me bigger visions yes. than the mentality of the war that went in the core of my being. That's what she said is so powerful. So people that, that are watching all over the world, it doesn't matter what you're going through. God has a bigger vision. So always lift your vision higher and never get stuck in the mess because when you're in a mess, all, all your mess needs is your message. So keep on going, Dr. Smith. Yes, sir. And so in agony of the response, all I knew was love hurt. And so he just kept, Jesus just kept whispering to, but I love you. I'm not just your friend to take you on adventures. I'm not just, I love you. In the agony of the response inside of myself, I took my hand and I struck the face of that which was saying, I love you. There was nothing within me that could handle that intensity for God is love. As my Mark bruised his face, he said, well, I was bruised for your iniquities. The chastisement of my peace was upon you. How do you think it got there? It's not just from something. He said, however, I still love you. And mm. as I fought against love that betrayed, I'm unlovable. If you love, if you don't love me, I'll be safe. But if you love me, I am vulnerable mm. to then respond. So is this what has given you the compassion to help everyone? Absolutely. I, 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 I mean, I, Bar they, none. Ladies and gentlemen, I've watched her on, on, on the streets with the dirtiest of the dirty. Mm, I watched her with the elite of, of, of the elite. And, and, and her, the... The way she treats people, as they walk in the like doors of church, she is the first one that goes to whoever comes in. And, and, and the reason why I'm having her on this show is because I think people need to hear golden rule type things. People that treat people how they want to be treated, it's the key to the entire world. As I, as I state on every single show, I say if we can get the world to do one thing, only one thing in Africa, China, Asia, Europe, for you watching all over the world, if we can do one thing, just treat people the way you want to be treated. So, so as you watch the, the Golden Rule show, you're, uh, I'm going to have the best people in the world that I know of in this day and hour that have overcome major hurdles in life and still have a compassion to love people. And Dr. Smith, is, uh, she's, a, she's an international minister. She, she, she travels all over the world bringing kindness and goodness. Dr. Smith, what's next? What's next for you? What, this what's, is what's, what's so next? amazing. The question on earth, well, as God had said, he loves me, and I struck that face, I realized that I drew blood on my hands, and I thought, whose blood is on my hands? And there was him, Jesus dying for me. And as he died, he said one final time, I love you, and died. So I was left with the love that I could not kill, 
that I could not split off from mm. inside, mm. that was a moment of impact, sir. And the cry of all creation in tribe nation is this, is the cry that Christ took to the cross. Father, why have you forsaken me? Now, as we live the golden rule, there is a cry within the nature of people for to be fathered, mm -hmm. to be mothered, to be held. But Ambassador Rivers, we humanly, it is impossible to love in God. I mean, besides God, without him. Mm -hmm. It's impossible to love. So there has to be an understanding of a pattern of which Romans speak so clearly. I am persuaded beyond belief and doubt, Romans 8, that not, neither death nor life, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things impending, nor things to come can separate me from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus. This love, principalities and powers, are the highest echelon of the demonic realm. What greater hell did I live through as my mind betrayed my body and I could not even remember in the depths of the hell of trying to raise sons, I couldn't even take to school because I would be in fear sitting in there not knowing what day it was at times. What greater mm. fear than not to even be present in your own mind and then to have the love of God come in and say, I don't all only love Kathleen. I have a law and I have a system that again, the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set you free. That is an immutable aspect. Yes. That literally, literally does not depend on my emotional state. That's very good. That's very good. That, no, that's very good. Uh, you, you've written a book, ladies and gentlemen, from a person <laughs> that had no mind, that has finished United Graduate College and Seminary International, by the way, a great international institution. Uh, May I? From, 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 from getting your education to writing a book. Uh, and, and it is an e-book, and what's gonna happen, you'll have access to her email address uh, after the show, so if you're interested, please, we'll put that out there for you. Uh, Dr. Kathy Smith, would you, would you please tell me about your book? Yes, sir. <laughs> it's an autobiography of how the, the Lord Jesus Christ and the Father and I became one as he gave me the ability to reveal. The book is called, Where Did You Put Your Pain, God? Where Did You Put Your Pain? Inside of me, I was in agony. I, oh, believe me, I soaked. I stayed up in heaven. La, 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 kisses and love. And soaking's great. And believe me, the love of God is good. Yes. But it never transferred on earth. Mm. Never came to earth wow. to bear in my, my husband's life, in my children's life. It was always okay. Well, I saw this today. Good, Mom, did you make dinner? No, I didn't have time because I was with God. So they had peanut butter and jelly while I flew away. So the reason I asked them, where did you put your pain? Because it came to a point. I was in another car accident, the one at 15 messed my brain. But in 2002, I was in a car accident that bashed my body, broke me, and placed me in a wheelchair. Would be over for 10 years. I didn't stay in the wheelchair because I chose to take drugs so that I wouldn't be put away. My body was broken. I had 10 severe operations. I, they cut through my neck. There's a metal in my back. There's a knee that's not mine. And by the time I needed another knee, I said, God, I can't go through this again. And I cried to him. I was more afraid of my future than I was of my past. Wait, and did I you hear that, people? Him, she was more afraid of her future than she was her past. That's good. Uh, can, can you elaborate a bit more on that? Yeah, my past was I couldn't remember what I did. I had, you know, um, people that I hurt, people that I loved, I always loved. But when there wasn't a sense, I would operate in the prophetic, and I could operate, and I could tell you what 
your heart said before you even knew what its beat was. But once I was out from under that anointing, you asked me to fix a car or to tell you what was, you know. I would say, I don't know, but I will tell you, you know, that uh, you can have communion up in heaven. Well, that doesn't put macaroni and cheese on the table. So in those past hurts, I was locked into a fear that pain, pain kept me in. Pain was a puppet that literally became an alter ego because pain was convenient after a while. I didn't have to be responsible. Mental illness was convenient. I didn't have to do anything. Oh, that's just cast. Wow. Yep. The light from the pit of hell that kills people is the lie that says, oh, that's just Kathleen. That's how she is. Well, that, that, that's, I've, I've heard that. I've seen that spoken against you. I've seen it, and I've literally watched this woman, Dr. Smith. I watched her grow, walk in her faith, take steps that, that people thought, were impossible for, 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 for her to make and take, and she has done it, and she is a renowned minister around the world, and I'd be remiss if I didn't thank her husband, Gary Smith. Yeah. Gary, Gary, Gary is, is, is a gentleman that, uh, that is, if anyone has a, a servant's heart, it's, 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 it's her husband, Gary. He, uh, um, he's, he's been with me for a long time, uh, uh, and, and, and Gary, on the set here, I want to tell you, Thank you for, for all you do to make things work for us. And I thank you for also <laughs> for, for supporting your wife, Kathy, and her endeavors. Um, Kathy, uh, Do Dr. Smith, I'm very interested in the golden rule. You understand? Yes, sir. This is my entire life I've committed yes, sir. to. I, I see so many atrocities in the world. I see so many tragedies take place needlessly because of one thing. People do not think and value other people. And this is why I wanted you on my show, because you're a testimony of someone that's overcome so much in life. It's easy, it'd be easy to have you sit here as a victim like most people are. But see, I've watched you pick up life, and I watched you carry life. Uh, when, when it's hard, I, I've watched you in some of the most horrendous pains of your life, but yet, at the same time, your heart has always been there to help others. I'm going, man, she's, she's, she's so resilient. She gets knocked down. She gets back up again. She has a hard time at remembering things at times, and then, and then she'll, she'll step up and she'll preach the greatest revelation. I remember when you came back from New New, New, New Zealand? Last year, yep. Last year, when Woo! you came back, you had an encounter there. Bless you, New Zealand. And as you came back, you, yeah, for, for all you watching in that country, <laughs> this is Dr. Kathy Smith. She's <laughs> on the Golden Rule Show. So, so uh, Dr. Smith, if you had to, to speak some words to encourage our audience out there all around the world, speak some words to encourage them and lift them up. Go ahead. The most important thing is that Pain does not have the final say. Pain is just a twisted counterfeit of a righteous real. So we thank you and we say, Lord, your love with which nothing can separate us from, nothing could separate us from. My mind could not separate me from his love. I couldn't kill it. The love of God is the core and the answer. If we learn to love one another, as the golden rule says, as, as God so loved us, what we need, I don't have a pattern to love Ambassador Rivers outside of a pattern of God, of which Jesus Christ set himself. This is how we bring heaven to earth. The patterns that were established inside of me have a place of peace that reside in the fact that I know that nothing can separate me from his love. Nothing can take that away, even my own mind and body. And so then, because I was not judged, I then can extend that. Very good. One of the most holy arcs that I've heard Ambassador talk about is in the Ten Commandments, where it says, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, all your spirit. 
But the second one says, love your neighbor as yourself. I had a great old time as God was healing me, entertaining angels, walking with Moses, rocking the father place of my heart with Abraham. And let me tell you, being in hell, I fear no darkness. For those of you who are demonically inclined, there is not a kingdom of darkness. It's in darkness because the light of the love of God inside of us has not shown through and said, how great is the light of the love of God. And so as we come in Ambassador Rivers and this golden rule says, treat others the way you want to be treated. God himself set the standard, gave his own son. And he said, whoever believes in me shall not perish, have everlasting life. But the second verse of John 3, 16 says, but I did not send my son into the world to judge the world but to Good. save it. And so, as we go to treat others how to be treated, God came as a human. Yes. He didn't stay as God. He came as a human. We must love the humans through his pattern Amen. of love. Amen, amen, amen. Well, man, <laughs> what an honor to have Dr. Kathy Smith on the show. We'll have to have you back. Uh, uh, and what I want to say, those of you watching out there, if you haven't asked Jesus to come into your heart, it's a real simple thing. It's not religious. It's a relationship. So, so, so I want to give you the opportunity to just ask him to come into your heart. He'll change your life. Thank you so much for the Golden Rule Show. God bless you all. God bless you.